Hello and welcome to season two of Lifted, Contoured, and Refreshed. I'm Dr. Monica Banakdar, your host for this exciting webinar. The webinar has three parts. Part one explores hallmarks of aging. Part two is about the collection of fillers I use. And the last part, I will review some of my before and afters of my Fix My Base um, package. This is an interactive presentation and I would love to answer any questions you have. Please submit your questions in the chat box. Um, there will be a live question and answer following my presentation and I want to empower you by educating you so that you can make the right choice for your needs. Let's get started. Um, I currently have two practices called Benactor Aesthetics. One is in Newport Beach and the other one is in the Palm Desert. My staff and I are in the process of um, putting together our first med spa that um, will be in South Orange County. So lots of exciting new things coming. I've been practicing aesthetic medicine for about 23 years. I'm board certified in the American Board of Laser Surgery. I am an Allergan Medical Institute faculty, and I teach physicians and nurses how to inject um, Botox and the Juvederm family of fillers. I have created my five our rejuvenation method. And that is um, something that I'm very passionate about. It's not just Botox and fillers that we need for the face. It's um, technology, laser resurfacing, good skin care. Um, I have a line of skin care products called Monbon Clinical Skin Care. And um, Although I'm well-versed in devices and lasers, my true love is my injectable practice. Assessing faces and in my mind, seeing the enhancement possibilities with Botox and filler and making a treatment plan. Um, my entire practice is focused on aesthetic procedures. I perform a lot more non-surgical procedures than the average plastic surgeon and dermatologist. Um, last year, I injected about 65,000 units of Botox cosmetic, um, which is a lot, <laughs> considering that the average patient needs between 40 and um, 70 units, and uh, probably about 1,000 syringes of filler. My lifetime numbers exceed a million units of muscle relaxer and 15,000 syringes of filler. Okay, so let's talk about beauty and what makes a human face beautiful. When you look at a new face, our brain subconsciously decides if it is a youthful face or an old face, and if it's a beautiful face or a displeasing face. Our brains are programmed with universal ideas of youth and beauty. Ideal female faces are have flawless skin, symmetrical features, arched brows, large eyes, small nose, high cheekbones, full cheeks, and a defined jawline. And going through this list of attributes, uh, we now can do something about the skin quality, um, the location of the brows, how open the eyes are, um, and the contour of the nose, and what the cheeks look like, and um, contouring the jawline. So this is a really exciting field. What is aging? We all age, and sometimes we're very resentful of this inevitability, but aging is a privilege and should be celebrated. With advances in medicine in the last century, we're all living longer, disease-free lives. And now, with advances in aesthetics, just during our lifetime, we have the opportunity to look youthful. I say opportunity because, in essence, aging has become optional. What happens when we age? Aging changes start very early on and are at first imperceptible. Changes pick up speed with time and the speed changes. It's not uniform throughout 
um, time and throughout the face. Luckily for us, the aging changes have been studied extensively, and it turns out that they're a predictable set of changes that can be prevented and even reversed. Genetics play an important role in aging. How these mothers have age provide a glimpse into how their daughters will age, but I've always um, said that the earlier the changes are identified and reversed, the better it is. Um, so here's our second um, mother-daughter. Here's our third mother-daughter our fourth mother-daughter, and our fifth. So um, I'm trying to in, be very inclusive and not just show one type of face. I hope that you can identify who um, you look more like. All right, um, let's talk about the evolving triangle. Youthful faces, um, there is an upside down triangle that we can see in this 26 year old daughter. Sorry, I'm waiting for the plane to go by. Um, and we'll go back to the last slide. The daughter has high cheekbones, full cheeks, a defined jawline. In other words, she's lifted, contoured, and refreshed. Exactly the name of our webinar. The cheeks are a pivotal part of uh, youth and beauty formula. In the 64-year-old mother, the triangle has evolved to a right-side-up triangle. The mother has flattened cheeks, deepening smile lines, thinning lips, sagging jawline, and she would be ideal for the Fix My Face package. Aging um, happens in all of the facial layers, including the skin, the fat pads, muscles, and bones. Youthful skin is soft, supple, smooth, and well hydrated. And I can't wait to share with you what we can do with Skin Vive and make skin look youthful. Um, age, with aging, the skin loses moisture, collagen, elastin, and that leads to etched in lines and static wrinkles. So lifestyle choices like sun, diet, alcohol, smoking, and stress contribute to the aging changes of the skin. Let's talk about the fat pad um, and aging. There are superficial and deep fat pads in our face that sandwich our muscles and they provide volume, contour, and fullness. With aging, both sets of fat pads shrink and sag and this causes things like sunken eyes, flattened cheeks, folds around the mouth, and jowl formation. Aging also changes the muscles, and um, that also contributes to sagging of the overlying um, skin and formation of etched in lines from repetitive contraction of um, the muscles. And this we can see in the frown lines where we get a number 11 between the brows or forehead lines, crow's feet, upper lip lines, and dimpling in the chin. All of those types of um, wrinkles are caused by excessive muscle contractions. My favorite muscle relaxer is Botox, as you know, and uh, my goal for your Botox treatment is not to just cause um, a frozen face, but to first prevent etched inlines from occurring and second to reverse the ones that have already started. All right, last but not least is the bone structure. I always say that um, beauty is bone deep and the bone structure gives our face its shape and contour and there are significant changes that happen around the temples, around um, and which cause uh, appearance of the peanut head. Uh, the brow ridge melts and 
sorry, overhead plane, and the brow kind of drops down and um, sits heavy on the eyes. The eye socket widens and the um, eyes look tired. The cheekbones shrink and um, cause flattening and sagging of the mid-face contour. Our upper teeth recede and this causes elongation of the upper lip. Uh, formation of smile lines and significant um, last thing that happens is uh, the changes in the jawbone that cause um, jowling. We can see this in this young jaw and old jaw uh, comparison of the skull. We lose that beautiful um, angle to our jaw and um, the muscles really shrink down. And now we have the new Juvederm filler, um, Juvederm Volux for uh, jaw indication. Okay, um, this is another coveted collection. Juvederm family of six fillers that are arranged chronologically as they became FDA approved in the US. Each one of them has a different characteristic used for a different part of the face and has uh, got unique qualities. And I've used fillers from every company that sells in the U.S. and nothing else compares to the elegance and performance of the Juvederm collection in my hands. Um, and this collection is made of hyaluronic acid fillers, which is the uh, biggest component of our own collagen. They're all clear gels. The first two, Juvederm Ultra and Juvederm Ultra Plus, are chemically similar and are the first generation fillers. And then the last four, Voluma, uh, Volur, Volbella, and Volux, are the second generation, longer lasting filler, very elegant, um, and um, I use them a lot. So, let me tell you what each one is used for. Juvederm Ultra Plus is the workhorse. It's great for the lower face rejuvenation like smile lines and marionette lines. Um, and its sister product, Juvederm Ultra and um, also this Juvederm Ultra Plus, they're both very water loving. So I um, think about them as like an uncooked noodle and in the skin, they attach to the water in our tissue and it expands. So they're great for deep lines and folds. Um, and for lips, I like using them for dramatic lips. Here's an example of dramatic lip enhancement. Um, the middle picture is one syringe and the, uh, the last picture is two syringes with, done with Juvederm Ultra. Um, when Voluma first became available 10 plus years ago, it was an absolute game changer because it was the first filler that did something besides filling. Um, and it is the longest lasting hyaluronic acid filler on the market, lasting two years. This thick gel um, is great for repositioning and lifting the mid face. And when injected in the cheek region, not only does it lift the cheek, it also improves the lower face structures, including the smile lines and the jowls. And when I'm assessing a face, I always start in the mid face with Voluma because it improves both the mid face and the lower face. The next one in the collection is Volbella, which is the thinnest gel in the Juvederm family. And um, it's FTA approved for lips and lip line hydration, as well as under eye hollows. It's my go-to for anyone who wants natural under the radar lips, um, who's starting out with very thin lips. Volure has a consistency between Voluma and Volbella, and I love working with it. I think it's the most elegant, and, um, and it's also longer lasting than uh, Juvederm Ultra Plus. Wherever I use Ultra Plus, I can pretty much use Volure and know that instead of 12 months, it's going to last 18 months. Um, and um, this is probably the one filler that I'd 
want to take to um, an isolated island uh, if I were ever to end up there. Okay, so beginning of the year, we had the new Juvederm Volux um, indication for the jaw and the chin contour. And even though it was FDA approved for a year, um, that just means that they studied it for a year before going on the market with it. It is a thicker gel than Voluma, and it does, from our European colleagues, um, they report that it does last longer than Voluma. And here's the brand new one that I'm really, really excited about. It's going to be launching at the end of this month, and it's called Skin Vive. This is not a filler but a skin quality enhancer and it is to hydrate the skin and make it smooth and give it a glow and this has been available in europe for years and our european colleagues um absolutely rave about skin vive and it's that cherry on top where you have corrected um, the sagging and um, the deflating, and then you just need to do something to make the skin glow. So, you know, we can take, looking at our five mother-daughter duos, each one of the moms could benefit from the Fix My Face package, first lifting the cheeks and then contouring the jawline and the chin, cleaning up the smile lines and the marionette lines. Um, the fun doesn't stop here, though. During the consultation, I do address um, if you need Botox and um, other areas address like temples, sunken eyes, lips, um, and the neck. So everyone's treatment program um, with a Fix My Face package would be just a tad bit different. Um, and to work, we're starting with a video. So go ahead and play the video for me. Hi, my name is Patty, and I'm here today and really excited to do the Fix My Face treatment with Dr. Banakdar. And the areas that I'm most concerned about and looking forward to her magical hands are um, my lower face and neck, and um, you know, a little bit of under eye hollows, and then of course, you know, Botox. And what I love about her work is that she is going to make me look refreshed and like me, just a little bit younger. Let's go on to the next. Hi, this is Patty, and here I am two weeks after my Fix My Face with Dr. B, and I'm thrilled with the results. It's amazing when you go someplace and you know you look different and better, and somebody goes, did you change your hair? It's exactly the result you wanted. So what I love the most about, she did a whole bunch of things to my face with fillers, but she did, she kind of used cheek filler that kind of lifts your whole face, and it, and it reduces the, what I didn't like about my jawline. So that's gone, which is great. The other thing that she did that I've never had done before are lip fillers, because I was always concerned about them looking not natural. And it really just is me a little bit refreshed, which is exactly what I was looking for. I would recommend for everybody to come and see Dr. B. She is gonna sit and talk with you about your individual needs and desires and what you want, and you're gonna come out of here feeling great. This is Pat's before and after photograph. Incredible. Um, we go to the same hairstylist and I love this guy's work. Um, and when I saw her after uh, video, I was just looking at her hair, not, not even like my work. But what I did for her were uh, fill her around the uh, sunken uh, eyes, cheeks. We contoured her cheeks and her jawline. Um, I corrected some of the lip lines and she was very courageous and wanted um, to enhance her lips. So again, um, everyone is different. And um, so I'm going to show you her other view as well. Um, she's had an incredible improvement. She looks like herself, but just better. Now I'm going to show you the next video. 
Hi, my name is Pat, and I'm here today at Benactor Aesthetics to receive the Fix My Face treatment. We are addressing the fine lines and wrinkles around my eyes, my smile lines, and to improve the appearance of my jaws. Pretty much an overall refresh, and I'm really excited to see the results, and happy to be here today. So for Patricia, I worked on her um, cheeks, her jawline. We did some correction around her mouth. Um, and what we did actually made her neck even look a lot better. Um, I'll show you the next one. And for every patient, their customized program with the Fix My Face is different. Um, but my goal is for each person to look like themselves, just better um, version of themselves and rested. We have one more video. Hi, I'm Vicki. I'm 57 and I've had Botox and fillers and it really helped with acne scars and so forth. So I'm very pleased. Hey. Vicki came to me through um, one of my colleagues and she had a combination of aging. That's okay, we'll go to the next slide. Aging as well as um, acne scars and all I did for her were um, Botox and filler. Um, and she looks incredible. I'm going to show you her side profile. Um, and the other side. So, I mean, you can tell after her Botox, I got rid of the remaining lines on her forehead, um, filled her temples, filled her under eye, repositioned her cheek, um, really worked on the acne scars and um, gave her um, just a little bit of hydration in her lips. Okay, um, here is another example of the Fix My Face package with cheeks and jaw contour and refreshing around her mouth. Um, I have a few more pictures. These are from the last season. We optimized this gal's cheeks and her jawline and her chin contour. Our um, next patient, um, very athletic, had lost a lot of soft tissue in the mid face and under eyes and is creating marionette lines. And so um, we corrected her cheeks and um, her marionette and smile lines and she looks so much healthier. Our next one, this dear gal had lost her husband and needed a pick me up. And um, you can tell her skin is very, very frail and she um, needed a tad bit more than one fix my face package, but she's just delighted with her results. Um, next patient, another very thin patient with um, the majority of her problem was in the mid face and um, around the um, eye socket and in the cheeks. This is going back quite a few years um, to show you that you know the aging changes are universal and when you address them it really makes a huge improvement um, and we get this emptying in front of the ear especially people who have had plastic surgery and face lifting um, this area loses all its fat and so um, the jowls form and replacing the soft tissue in front of the ear has um, improved 
her um, jaw contour um, immensely. Another uh, more mature patient who looks like herself, just um, a lot more um, lifted, contoured, and refreshed. And last patient is um, thin, athletic yogi who has uh, lost quite a bit of soft tissue in her mid face and lower face and really just looks like herself, but a lot healthier. Okay, okay so question and answers. Um, I would love for you to ask me questions and um where are my questions or are you going to read them off to me yes please clarify the products in the fix my face package please clarify products in the fix my face package it comes with six syringes of um juvederm um family and it depends on what you need. So if I'm doing cheeks, I'm using Voluma. If I'm doing um, jawline, I'm using uh, Volux. If I'm doing under eyes, I'm using Volbella. If I'm doing lips, um, it depends on, the product will depend on if we're doing under the radar, uh, moderate looking or dramatic looking lips. Um, and that's, uh, that's, how I like to work. I like to customize um, the treatments for each individual. Okay, next question. Are all six used at the same time? Are all six products used at the same time? Well, that's a great question. Um, so most of the time I'm using, you know, a syringe on the right and a syringe on the left to fix the right and the left part of the face. But no, I don't need to use all six at the same time. Um, I pick and choose the right product for the right part of the face. And um, as we discussed, aging doesn't happen uniformly throughout the face. So you may see two 50 year olds and one of them, her lower lids look really hollow. And the next one, she is fine under her eyes, but her cheeks look flat. You know how when you pick up a mirror, your eyes have memorized the part of your face that bugs you the most? We um, start with that part or with the mid face and then that part that really bugs you because then your eye is so pleased when you pick up the mirror and that part has been fixed and you look good. Um, and um that little monster sitting on your shoulder that says oh my god look at that wrinkle it like becomes quiet what's our next question liz is there downtime downtime with filler so good question you know um i think i'm gonna add to my next um a slide deck the picture of this face where it's melted all the skin and all the fat and all you see is just this web of vessels that's what we're dealing with anytime you put a needle under the skin you are at risk of going into a vessel and bruising how often do i see bruising probably less than five percent of the time why is that because um I set you up for success. I set myself up for success. I use a device called an AccuVein. That's that um, red light that I don't know if you've seen me inject. Um, shows me where the vessels are. It's an infrared um, light that um, helps me see under the skin. And if I move a little bit to the side of that vessel, I miss the vessel and I don't bruise. So I usually say, you know, what's going on? Um, do you have an important event? Um, because it may take a few days for a bruise to go away. So if you've got something in the next five to seven days, you need to 
plan your treatment after that event um, or if you are getting prepared for an event do it like a month before these are all long lasting fillers so it doesn't make sense to if you've got a wedding coming up to not do anything about it until two weeks before and then you know lo and behold we've got a bruise so around the eyes we get some swelling you don't really need to do anything about that that goes away by itself around the lips there's some swelling that goes away um so i always say let's plan your treatment um at the opportune time what's our next question last question okay um so last question is how do you take advantage of the fix my face package you call the office or you email the office saying that you want a consultation appointment with me and um if you know that you want that um to go ahead with uh, your filler treatment, declare yourself so that we don't run out of the skin V that we're giving away. I'd like to thank you for joining me um, and thank my assistants, Kyle and Brittany and Liz. Um, sorry, we had some um, technical difficulties, but as you can tell, it did not wane my enthusiasm for fillers and um, fixing everyone's face. So uh, I hope to see you in the office soon.